I had to do it. Dude's coming after me and my family. Just looking mad heated out here right about now. Power episode 10. This is my trailer breakdown for the finale. And what is the theme of the this Stark family? Fuck up. And boy, Kanan didn't finish the job. And we're going to break this thing down with all the clues for episode 10, the finale, Raising Kanan, season 1. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Follow me on IG. When I have, when you guys have questions, comments, or stories you want me to post online, I take those on IG. And also, if you ever want to get up with us live, we're going to go live this week, Monday and Tuesday night only. But we do do Friday with Friends live. If you want to join us, hit me on IG. So watch the rest of this trailer, and then we'll break it down. We need to get you out of sight. Southside won't burn tonight. It's about the first night of the rest of our lives. What are you doing, Rob? I'm winning. First thing first, my people. They've got Kanan at the scene of the crime where he effed up and didn't finish the job. Rock specifically told him two to the heart, one to the head. He only got two to the heart which lets us know that the job didn't get done and I don't know why the hell he's standing there with that coat on, man. Take the coat off and run. Then the next scene, we see him talking to someone about, you know, threats to his family. He had to take somebody out. Now, I'm sitting here saying to myself when I saw this part, I was like, who is he talking to? He ain't talking to Marvin. I know he's not talking to Rock because Rock already know everything he's repeating. So who don't know this information? And guess what? We're going to find out who that person is based on this trailer. Then we get a scene where the helicopters is flying over the beautiful cities of New York, the boroughs of New York, because these streets is hot. An officer done been killed. You see police cars going back and forth, riding all over the place, man. The APB is out. Then we see Lulu sob. And I'm thinking to myself, Lulu ain't in no condition to drive. And then they let us take a glimpse on the inside of the sob. Guess who's in there? Scrappy's back. Scrappy is back when Rock needs soldiers the most, talking to Kanan. So apparently Scrappy is the one who picked up Kanan. And apparently that's who Kanan's talking to in wherever that room is when he's saying they try to hurt my family. Now, if you guys remember, Kanan and Scrappy, the last time they saw each other was in a fight. But now that they know a plan is in place, Scrappy's back. He's got the eye patch on because of what Unique done to him in there looking like. Um, damn, my man from Marvel, Samuel L. Jackson, and they talking to each other, and I bet you they're going to get along now because they both want that heat for Unique and what's going on with that crew. But I'm glad to see Scrappy back, and I can't wait to see what he's going to do to try to get some vengeance on Unique. And then they just show Kanan coming around the corner, probably hearing the police and everything that's going on. Maybe this is when Scrappy pick him up, but damn, bro, get out of that coat, bro. Come on, man. Then we see a scene where Kanan is in a room with Rock, and Rock is talking about she's going to have to move him. She's going to have to get him somewhere else. And they just look like, man, these streets is on fire. You see lights flashing down probably from the helicopter. Um, it's just nuts on them streets right now. Then they show a picture of unique little badass just talking stuff. He's mad. He's about to light up these streets. Then they show Juliana, Juliana, and look at the look on her face. She's concerned, but I think she's about this life, my people. I think Juliana is definitely about this life, but she knows it's just war on the streets right now. It's turmoil. You can see the police lights in the reflection of her window, and um, hopefully she's about to lock up and close up and go on about her business and maybe go and reach out to Rock, but I'm sure she knows Rock has got to do what she got to do to get that connect from her cousin. And then we see Rock in the scene where I think she's talking to Lulu. And Lulu is not pleased, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to know what the hell you're doing, Rock. But he's also looks like he's in no condition to be out here being a soldier right now, which might be more concerned for why Lulu is upset. He don't know what's going on. They show us another clip of Kanan turning his head. This is probably a continuation from earlier, the earlier scene in this trailer when he was getting picked up by Scrap. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we see Kanan's unfinished work. We've got 
old Detective Howard sitting here, not dead. He's breathing. He's got oxygen strapped to his face. Um, he's got the NG tube in his, I mean, the tube in his mouth. And you see two to the heart, nothing to the head, which means he ain't dead. And they're going to continue this story with him because we can't forget that his doctor knows he has a son now. And this doctor is probably going to spill the beans when the police start asking and start doing their investigations about how he got shot. And I'm sure she's going to come forward and say, look, whatever's going on, he's got a bone marrow issue that he's been keeping from everybody that he needs to get fixed too. And while y'all doing this, we might as well try to find a bone marrow person. And ladies and gentlemen, this was the 90s. By this point in time, you had DNA. And if he can speak, if he can get a word out, which is not going to be this episode, when they pull this tube out of his mouth, he's probably going to say something unless they can get to him while he's in the hospital. And we've already seen that Power is not afraid to send cameo-looking Negroes to the hospital to take people out. But definitely this doctor is going to have something to do with something. She might have to be taken out. Next scene is a very telling scene. They are arresting Unique, which would have you to believe that some of Rock's plan is still going to go through. But even if they do arrest Unique and he's off the street, he still can put in words with his hitters. He still can put in word with his crew and somebody else is just going to have to step up and be the next Unique while Unique is in jail giving orders. So then now you're going to have a quagmire with this still happening, him in jail giving orders and whoever the new leader is who's probably may or may not be as good as Unique because Unique has dropped the ball a couple of times too. We'll see where it goes. Then we got Marvin dressed up in a gas suit like he's about to go somewhere and poach something. Looking around, making sure nobody's about to do anything to him. Then we see Unique again, standing up, frustrated, like he's about to walk to the door. Maybe this is when the police kick in the door and arrest him. And then we get a scene where they try to flash really, really quick. Somebody popping up a gun. But ladies and gentlemen, some this is some little surveillance room, some surveillance area. And as you can see, they're surveilling something coming in. Now, could this be where Unique was getting his drugs. Could this be the drop point for Unique and now Marvin is about to rob them because whoever is supposed to be in there watching under this closed circuit camera is pulling a gun on somebody kicking in the door. So you guys post me comments. What do you think this is? Where is this closed circuit TV surveilling? And is this Marvin breaking in or is this somebody else going up here to rob this stash house that could possibly be Unique's joint? Let me know what you think this is. And then we get Detective Burke arresting jukebox and i'm sure she's shaking jukebox down for information about what happened to officer detective howard because she warned her which um i'm assuming this was part of uh, rock's plan she warned her about that and in, earlier in the the episode of episode nine i do recall nick's parents basically telling detective burke that the blue caps was caused by jukebox that it was jukebox's fault her daughter got involved with that and detective burke knows that jukebox has something to do with this family and she's probably going to try to hold her hostage for information on detective howard because jukebox warned her but i think this is still part of the play i think jukebox is going to be able to use her allure her insight her feelings with this cop and be able to get out of this and they end on Rock standing on top of the city, probably after all the dust settled, after all the smoke cleared, looking down in conquest. She's probably on the Empire State Building with the wind blowing in her hair saying the streets is mine now because most of her plans start to unfold. But you know power is going to leave us on a cliffhanger. So I want you guys to post me all your comments on where you think they're going. What are going to be the cliffhangers? What are the insider information that is going to be in episode 10, the finale of Power Raising Canaan? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Definitely go get yourself that life game. Definitely come follow us when we go live tonight. And we go live every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night and Tuesday night as well at 9 p.m. And if you ever want to join us, just hit me on Instagram with a DM. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.